Sagan. The warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. And our live game is Napoli against Inter. This is Peter Drury, and next to me, providing insights, will be Jim Begley. Well, thank you very much, Mr Drury, and hello to everyone. of this nature, who can make the difference? I'm going to go for the Slovakian Hamšík. Easily one of the more productive, creative players on show and, and likely to be at the hub of, of all things attack. He's a scorer of important goals too. And shoots! And he's there to make a great save. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Diehard defence and the willingness to put his body on the line. Very impressive. It's one! Goal, Napoli! Just so calm under pressure. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked a scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business, that. Well, that now is the through ball. Oh, full-blooded challenge, and it had to be. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. And it's D'Ambrosio. Hits one! Oh, that probably deserved better. I have to commend the wing play, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Milik. Plays it long. It's over the line, and that'll be a goal kick. <laughs> Balls out on the left now. Eder. Perisic posts the best record in the team when it comes to receiving passes. Story. Eight He's good for it. Shapes the shoots. He's done very well to get to that. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. Didn't 
come off, but an audacious effort. Well, it was certainly an acrobatic effort. I mean, it was probably the best option for him, but they're never easy to pull off. That's a poor kick by the keeper. He's just given it straight back. Hampshire. Lorenzo Insigne. Jorginho. And we've reached half-time. So there you have it, a close sport half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. And not rush into mistakes. Final checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. Into Milan, making two changes as we speak. And it's Pastore. And this is Icardi. It's going for goal! Oh, taken with style! And it's another really good show of character. I love the spirit and togetherness they muster. Never know when they're beaten. What about that, Jim Beglin? It's almost criminal to see a defence fail to identify someone who thrives when it comes to shooting stats. They knew, and yet they didn't heed, and they've paid the price and deserve to. Well, it's an inspired substitution, terrific move by the boss. Well, the instruction from the manager would have been, go on and make yourself a nuisance and see if you can snatch a goal. Mission accomplished. Winner. Into Milan. And he's cut it out. Over to the left. He spotted the run and played. It's Insigne! And the ball's come out. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Now it's Icardi. Into Milan, have it back, and they can go again. D'Ambrosio. It's a decent-looking cross. Inter merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded and... As a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. Passes it through. That's a promising ball. Kaya Hong. And the finish! It's anyone's ball. Let down by a lack of accuracy. And it's Hamšík. Napoli to make one... And that's that, so nothing between them after all of that, and you can't really argue with the result. Neither manager too unhappy with the outcome, and the fans really well entertained. It's all square.